In every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. Of all the paths you take in life, make sure a few of them are dirt. I'd rather be in the mountains thinking of God than in church thinking about the mountains. The sun shines not on us, but on us. The rivers flow not past but through us. Thrilling, tingling, vibrating every fiber and cell of the substance of our bodies, making them glide and sing. The trees wave and the flowers bloom in our bodies and our souls, and every bird song, wind song, and tremendous storm song of the rocks in the heart of the mountains is our song, our very own, and sings our love. Thousands of tired, nerve-shaken, over-civilized people are finding out that going to the mountains is going home, that wildness is a necessity. Everybody needs beauty and bread, places to play in and pray in, where nature may heal and give strength to body and soul. Wilderness is a necessity. There must be places for human beings to satisfy their souls. When one tugs at a single thing in nature, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. To sit in solitude, to think in solitude with only the music of the stream and the cedar to break the flow of silence, there lies the value of wilderness. The mountains are calling, and I must go. As long as I live, I'll hear waterfalls and birds and winds sing. I'll interpret the rocks and learn the language of flood, storm, and avalanche. I'll acquaint myself with the glaciers and wild gardens, and get as near the heart of the world as I can. When we try to pick out anything by itself, we find it hitched to everything else in the universe. God never made an ugly landscape. All that sun shines on is beautiful, so long as it is wild. Wander an entire summer if you can. It will not take time from the sum of life. Instead of shortening, it will lengthen it and make you truly immortal. I only went out for a walk and concluded to stay out till sundown, for going out, I found, was going in. The world is enormous, and I want to have a good look at it before it gets dark. Climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. Society speaks, and all men listen, mountains speak, and wise men listen. As long as I live, I'll hear waterfalls and birds and winds sing. There is that in the glance of a flower, which may control the greatest of creation's braggart lords. Only spread a fern frond over a man's head and worldly cares are cast out, and freedom and beauty and peace come in. While cares will drop off like autumn leaves,